Hello and thank you for choosing WeldonPC.com for some of your educational needs. Uh, my name is Weldon Hastings. I am the owner and operator uh, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, burn a simple data disc or a simple audio disc to play in a CD player with Nero. Nero is a very commonly used program and you can access it by clicking Start, Programs, Access Nero, and always use the Nero Smart Start Essentials. Using the Nero Smart Start, Smart Start Essentials will ensure that you're going right to the quote unquote home page uh, for the Nero application. Uh, here to the left, uh, and on some older versions across the top, you'll, you would see um, these, these features here. The data burning, which you would drag and drop files into here. The audio burning, which you could burn an audio CD or an MP3 disc. Um, I wouldn't rec recommend using this because it falls outside of the simplicity that we're trying to convey. The audio ripping, which is when you take um, audio from the CD and put it in the computer. Now we're not going to show you how to do that because this is a more advanced feature. And a simple disk copy. In other words, if I have three PowerPoints on disk A and I want them to be on the blank disk or disk B, this is the feature we would use. This is not where you would copy CDs with music or DVDs with videos. To burn a data disk, you'll click on Data Burning. And in this case, we're just going to back up, um, uh, let's, let's back up a couple pictures or copy a couple pictures. So we'll, uh, we'll go to my cookout here. There's a picture of the family, my cousins and I, um, my brother, my mom and cousin, and we'll, we'll burn those over to a disk. Now those are all listed here. You'll notice at the bottom there's a meter. This meter indicates the size of the average disk, a 700 megabyte disk. If you see green, that means you haven't run out of space with what you're trying to accomplish. If you see yellow, it means you're approaching the capacity of your disk. You see red, that means you've exceeded the capacity of the disk and you will not be able to burn. And I've just inserted a CD into my optical drive and we're going to burn these three disks, I'm sorry, these three files, these three JPEGs, over to a CD as data. So to do that, we'll click burn and the CD burning should begin here in just a second. Ah, but there's a small issue. Uh, please insert a writable disk, meaning the disk that I have may already have some information on it. That way you, you're kind of uh, safe, uh, whereas you won't, uh, you know, if you copy information to a disk, you can't burn it over if you didn't mark it with a felt marker like yours truly. So I put in another disk and click load, and this process usually takes about 10 or 15 seconds. You will get a pop-up on the screen. Uh, once it loads, it'll indicate that the CD is being read, or the optical disk is being read. And the disk has started burning because it says cancel instead of burn. Down here you'll see where it says the, um, the progress. And then you'll see here where it showed the, uh, the pop-up menu I was talking about. So we'll close that pop-up menu. The data disk burning is at 100%. It's checking the disk to make sure there was no errors. You should get a pop-up in this area as soon as the burning is complete. And you'll notice you'll hear a click indicating that the CD was automatically inject, uh, ejected. Now, one of the most important things you can do is always verify your data. For instance, on the way out of town one time I burned a data disk uh, a disc, actually an audio disc containing about 137 MP3s. Because I didn't check it, I got on the freeway and was already on, a, on my four hour journey to realize that um, there was nothing on the disc because I didn't verify it in the computer first. So make sure you always, always, always verify your information. While this is continuing to finish, uh, one other small thing that I find uh, the people should know about is if you hover over something usually it will tell you more information. For instance, this icon here, you'll see hovering over it does nothing, does nothing. It's because there's a window here which says that the data burning was successful. But if I come back down over it now, it'll say Launch Nero Applications and Tools. 
it's always important to understand that whenever you hover over something, it gives you, it gives you the user validity of what's going on. This is especially true on the internet with a lot of the viruses. So now the disk is ejected, uh, the burn has reilluminated. We're going to minimize this and check the disk. I'm reinserting the disk, and in just a couple seconds, we should get that pop-up menu. We can use that to open the disk to check to make sure those three pictures are present. Okay, we now have the the item up. We're going to use open, and I would always recommend using open. And you'll see that there's all my cousins, my brother, my mom, and my cousin. And you could switch your view here to large so you could see a thumbnail of the people. We're going to close out of this now. Uh, this is because I left Nero open. I should have closed it. So I'll hit cancel. And that'll conclude the basics of how to use uh, Nero. For more information, please visit our website, www.weldonpc.com. We also offer training seminars uh, for individual and uh, small groups. Please call us at our office at 216-429-0661. And we'd be glad to set up a time and a place to meet with you and your group of people, uh, group of people or your family and friends to give you a small training seminar. Thanks for watching. We appreciate uh, your support. And happy computing.